Welcome to the Pet Hui. Here's what's coming up in the next half hour. Hawaii celebrities and their pets will be showing off canine and human fashions. You'll meet a few lonely dogs who need a forever loving family. Maybe yours? We'll help Pet Detective Alpha Dog get Butterscotch back home, and we'll learn how the Poi Dog got its name in It's All About the Breed. The Pet Hui starts now. Is your yarn a minefield? Are the flies driving you crazy? Hi, I'm Allie the Poo Princess, and I'm cleaning the world of poop one yard at a time. To have Allie clean your yard, contact her at gotpoo.biz or 497-9273. What's in your backyard? Welcome to the Pet Hui. Today we're here at the NBC Exhibition Hall at the Hawaii Women Expo for the Celebrities and Their Pets Fashion Show. And behind me is the stage where all the magic happens. Not only will it be fun to watch, but it's also for a great cause. We're here with Tiffany, founder of Fur Angel Foundation. Tell us about your wonderful organization. We're a nonprofit dog rescue here on the island of Oahu. So we take in dogs and we put them into wonderful foster homes where they get adopted. And these wonderful puppies will be featured today? Yes. And how can people adopt them? You can go to our website, www.furangelfoundation.org. You can get an application there and find out more information about our adoption process. Stay tuned for the Celebrities and Their Pets fashion show featuring these little fellas. But first, here's more Pet Hui. I'm Lonnie. I'm one of the dog trainers over here at Petco Pearl City. Today, we're here with some members of the Oahu SPCA, um, some alumni who's done some dog training with us. And we're here to learn some training tips to help your, your uh, adopted dog become a productive member of your Ohana. Hi, my name is Alyssa. I work for the Oahu SPCA. This is my dog, Bibi. Um, she's my foster fail. I started fostering her in April 2013 and I adopted her right away. Um, the Oahu SPCA has a really good foster program where you can hold on to the dogs for as long as, or as little as you want and kind of give them a little break um, out of the shelter, out of the stress. So she's a really good dog. She's an agility. She helps people at the um, American Red Cross. She's a really good girl. It's wonderful to adopt, so yay! One thing you need to keep in mind when you're an adopting a dog, um, you don't necessarily know their history, especially an adult dog. They've been through a lot of transitions, um, maybe came from a former home, then into a shelter, and then quickly into your home. So you definitely want to be patient, and training is an important part of that. Um, it could take 30 to 45 days for them to bond with your family, so just be patient with them. So Maverick has changed my life because he's been a great companion to me through multiple deployments. My husband is in the Navy and is gone frequently, and he has been my little buddy <laughs> through all the deployments. He also keeps me really active. So another thing that's important for your adopted dog, um, we want to make sure they don't run away. So get your tags and put your phone number and address so if they do get out, um, somebody can return them. Hi, my name is Tierra, and I work for the Oahu SPCA. This here is Sinelli. He's one of our many dogs that we have at our shelter. Um, we're open from Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for adoptions. We are closed on Mondays. But we always get a lot of dogs like this in um, that are always looking for, for, their, for their forever homes. Or we also have a foster to adopt or even a foster program. Uh, the way that you can get in contact with me to find out more about that would be 808-754-1519 or you can email me at the word adoption at oahuspca.com. So when you do bring your adopted dog home, uh, they're usually in a state of excitement. They've just gone on this long car ride. One of the first things you want to do is go ahead and take them for a walk. Get some of that nervous energy out. Bring them into your house with a leash and teach them boundaries. If you don't want them getting up on the couch, don't start letting them up on the couch the first day. Uh, you don't want to overwhelm them with all your family members meeting them at the same time. Uh, you want to approach them slowly and have them not be overwhelmed. 
We also have um, wellness services, our wellness clinic going on right now, where we provide low-cost veterinarian services. We have a wonderful licensed vet, her name is Dr. Suzanne Bird, who works full-time exclusively for our shelter. Um, we also provide low-cost vaccination services, where every weekend we're at different pet calls around the island. So Saturdays, we're there at any given pet call, uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and Sundays, we're there from 12 to 5. Uh, vaccinations are really cheap through us. You don't have to pay any doctor fee just for the shots. And we also give like um, Comfortis, and they also give you a little bit of like a wellness checkup for your pet, which is actually awesome. Annie, Annie, where are you? Over here. Buyers are finding out how Kia's quality ranks versus the competition. People already know that. Just Google it or go online to alohakia.com. But I think it's the great value. Like the new 2017 Kia Sportage SUV for $199 a month. Or the new Kia Sedona van for just $225 a month. The 2016 Kia Soul for just $14,970 or $88 a month. Or the 2016 Kia Optima for $98 a month. Aloha Kia. See you in the Kia. Courteous, knowledgeable staff and a pet-friendly atmosphere make the Pet Holly Hawaii's neighborhood pet store. Locally owned and operated in the Melilani Shopping Center, the Pet Holly offers thousands of pet products and dozens of hand-raised pets from our family to yours. From finches to greenway macaws, from guinea pigs to large breed puppies, our store is home to pet lovers of all ages. Open Monday through Saturday 10 to 8 and Sunday 10 to 6. Find us on Facebook and online at thepetholly.com. The folks at VCA Kaneohe Animal Hospital know how important your pets are. With that in mind, we will be extending our hours for emergencies until 10 p.m. Our caring staff is available for surgery seven days a week. Come see any one of our qualified veterinarians, including our newest team member, Dr. Marin Nakasone. We are always looking to extend our family and are taking new client referrals for board-certified internal medicine at our Pearl City location. Welcome back. Once again, we're here at the NBC Exhibition Hall for the Hawaii Women Expo and the Celebrities and Their Pets Fashion Show is about to take place. So behind the curtains, celebrities are getting dressed for a great cause. And on this side, puppies are getting dressed up too, as you can see how cute they look. Tiffany, if someone wants to adopt one of these puppies, what's the process? Well, you can always find out more information on our website, www.furangelfoundation.org. But you fill out an application first, and then we'll have someone call you to consult about what type of dog you're looking for. And then from that point on, we'll do a meet and greet where you get to meet the dog of your choice. And then we'll follow up with an in-home visit, um, at which point you can decide whether or not it's a good fit. That sounds awesome. And these guys are hoping that someone in this audience will adopt them and take them home. So if you'd like to contact Fur Angel Foundation, Contact them on Instagram or Facebook. Now here's more Pet Hui. Hey gang, Pet Detective Alpha Dog here. My mission is to reunite pets with their family. Today we're out on Nimitz Highway by Kmart and we're looking for two-year-old butterscotch. Let's go get some more information. Hi, Pet Detective Alpha Dog. I'd like to get a little bit of information on butterscotch. Can you give me a little bit of information? After speaking with the family, this is what we found out. We're looking for two-year-old Butterscotch. She is a female Chihuahua, Jack Russell, Basinji mix. She is brownish tan in color with a white chest and weighs approximately 11 pounds. She has a white spot on her head and a green tattoo on her belly from being spayed. She is microchipped and friendly but shy. There is a reward for her safe return. It was Tuesday, January 19th, about 1.20 p.m. at the Kmart parking lot Nandy, the dog's owner, was parked in this red Scion, waiting for her mother to get off of work. Butterscotch was in the car along with Nandy's other dogs. The car windows were down when Butterscotch suddenly jumped from the vehicle. Nandy didn't notice her missing immediately, and Butterscotch hasn't been seen since. It's been two weeks since Butterscotch has been missing, and the family is hoping for her safe return. We really miss Butterscotch. If anyone has seen her, you know, she's our baby. We've had her since she was actually born. Um, we helped deliver her. If anyone sees her, please give us a call as soon as you see her. My phone number is 808-783-6348. Um, um, she has actually a few brothers and sisters waiting for her to come home. Yes, there is a reward if she is found um, and returned safely to us. Um, Sorry. 
I want to help my daughter find butterscotch. She's our princess, the baby of our family. If you see her, um, please give us a call, 783-6348. I really, really miss my butterscotch. I really miss my bubble girl. Once again, folks, here are the facts. We're looking for two-year-old butterscotch. She is a female Chihuahua Jack Russell Basenji mix. She is brownish tan in color with a white chest and weighs approximately 11 pounds. She has a white spot on her head and a green tattoo on her belly from being spayed. She is microchipped and friendly but shy. Now there is a reward for her safe return. Let's get Butterscotch back home safely. Once again, this is Pet Detective Alpha Dog saying, leash them or lose them. Seat covers made for everyday life by What O'Coli. Welcome back to the Pet Hui. Once again, we're getting ready for the celebrities and their pets fashion show featuring these adorable adoptables. And what you know so far is that celebrities will be walking the catwalk with their dogs. And also, most of them will be holding one of these puppies from the Fur Angel Foundation. But what you don't know is that Fur Angel Foundation is run exclusively by volunteers. Tiffany, how does that work? Well, you can actually go ahead and contact us on our website, www.furangelfoundation.org, to find out more information about our foster and volunteer programs. So um, if you want to become a foster, you can fill out an application, and then we'll do a quick in-home visit with you to find out you know, what type of dog you're looking for so that we can pair you with a, a dog that fits your lifestyle. And then we, we go ahead and we supply you with everything that you need, and we take care of all the vet costs. And right now, you folks don't have a physical location. We don't. All of our dogs are in families, um, so they're getting really good socialization and um, training indirectly through their foster homes. It's a wonderful program, but they do need your help. So contact Fur Angel Foundation if you'd like to volunteer or make a donation today. Coming up, the Celebrities and Their Pets fashion show featuring adorable adoptables. But first, here's more Pet Hui. And today, it's all about the Poi Dog. I am here with a Poi Dog on It's All About the Breed. And today we have Maui along with Maui's aunt. This is Roxanne. Roxanne, do you have any idea what, kind of, what breeds uh, Maui is? Well, we think Maui's pit bull from his face, but from his height and everything else, we really don't have an idea as to. Ah, okay. You know, there are some ways now you can find out. It's now possible to determine what breeds are found in boy dogs by DNA testing. It's not cheap, but if you're really interested, it is possible. As Roxanne said, some characteristics are obvious, but many times they're not, and owners are curious to find out. Different breeds have different health issues and temperaments. So Roxanne, how is Maui's temperament? He is the sweetest dog. <laughs> Do you, and, and what about health? Is he in pretty good health? Pretty much, yeah. He's great. Many times, poi dogs have better health than pure breeds, and on average, they tend to live longer. Pure breeds tend to carry health issues from one generation to the next, while poi dogs get watered down health problems, hence they have fewer health issues and they live longer. A pure breed dog lives an average of 6.7 years, a poi dog lives an average of eight and a half. Well, let's talk a little bit about the name, poi dog. How the poi dog got its name? Hmm, maybe they eat poi? Um, maybe it came back from the taro patches that um, they had dogs and they mixed breeds and it happened at the taro patches, I'm not sure. Actually, the poi dog was a particular breed in early Hawaiian culture and was used for food. When the missionaries arrived, they convinced the native Hawaiians that eating dogs was not considered acceptable, so the practice was stopped. But poi dogs were given poi to fatten up, and over the years their jaws deteriorated because they didn't eat solid food. That degeneration eventually led to their extinction. Today, a poi dog is just a mixed breed dog, and would really be more appropriately known as a hapa dog. Maui is the perfect example of a great boy dog. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank you, Maui. Our pleasure. 
They say the older you get, the wiser. I say the newer you look, the smarter. The Mini has grown up. Introducing the newest Mini, the hardtop four-door. Double the doors and classy, sophisticated, intelligent, and very cool. Or check out the Countryman, Mini's other four-door. Plus the true original, the Mini hardtop two-door. All of this, plus Mini's boot to bonnet, no cost, three year, 36,000 mile maintenance. Mini of Hawaii, all grown up. Every day in Hawaii, animals are mistreated, abandoned, or simply neglected and forgotten. For many of them, the Oahu SPCA is their last hope. At Oahu SPCA, we are committed to a no kill promise. Here, animals in need receive medical care, shelter, love, and help in finding a forever home. How can you help? Please adopt one of our animals. Use our low-cost veterinary and spay neuter services. Be a responsible pet owner. And make a donation so that we can do more life-saving work. Help us to reduce euthanasia and give these animals a chance for a better life. All it takes is a monthly or a one-time donation to Oahu SPCA. Please visit us at our new shelter and find your new best friend, the Oahu SPCA, because every life is precious. Welcome back to our show. We are proud to announce that the Pet Hui has a new clothing sponsor, Zane Style House. And owner, beauty queen, fashionista, is a huge dog lover. We're so proud of her, Liana Greenwright. Hi, Liana. Tell us how you started your company. Hi, aloha. Thank you for having me. Um, I started my clothing line after I interned in New York, and I worked at different fashion houses. So, hence Style House. It's kind of a spin off of the fashion house. And Zane, I wanted a name that would capture my faith and why I'm here and why I'm able to do this. And Zane means God is gracious, so Zane Style House. Beautiful, and thank you so much for sponsoring us. <laughs> um, also tell us, what kind of women do you think would love your fashions? I mean, you have a variety of beautiful clothing, including what I'm wearing right now. What kind of women would love your clothes? Well, our motto is styling the life you live. So I feel that we have a piece for every phase of your life and every occasion, whether you're running to pick up the kids from school or running around town or getting ready for that special date night or occasion, we have a piece for everything. So shop Zane Style House. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. Shop, shop, shop. <laughs> Thanks, Liana. Thank you, mahalo. Now here's more Peduy. We're with Pets Overboard, and Pets Overboard is a show with six dogs and four house cats and four rats. Um, we do three 20-minute shows here uh, every weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, during the fair. Uh, the show is all about rescued dogs and cats. Every animal we have has come from a pound of some sort versus, you know, all over the place in the country. We have animals from Moby here is from Indiana. We have a dog from Ohio. We have a dog from Florida. We have a cat from Texas, so all over the country. Right, Moby? One of the dogs we have that's a star, his name's Comet. He was a last chance dog, which means he was on the list. Uh, one of the cats that we have, his name is Storm. <laughs> uh, he was at a shelter in Texas where they only have 72 hours. That's all the shelter gives them because it was a smaller county, so that was all the funding they had. So every animal that comes in, they only got 72 hours, so. We, we think he's probably the luckiest one. <laughs> you know, the way we pick our animals is really case-by-case uh, -case basis. It depends on what we're looking at. Uh, the, like Moby right here, he's full of energy. He's very intelligent. He's also very focused. Uh, and it really depends on what we're looking to fill. Uh, a lot, most of our dogs are very high energy, but very focused and very driven. Uh, a lot of them are something you wouldn't want in your house as a pet because <laughs> they're very, very high energy. They require a lot of maintenance, a lot of time. and. You know, they really just are a dog looking for a job. You know, it just depends on the job we're trying to fill. Well, our show's only 20 minutes long and we do two or three shows a day. When we're not doing shows, uh, we go for walks. Uh, we take them jogging. They love to go jogging. Uh, rollerblading, well, we really likes to go rollerblading. Uh, we took them to the park sometimes. If we can find a park that's a, uh, that's a good place for the fence and play ball and play frisbee. And they all live in a big uh, pack in the back. They have a big yard. And uh, when we're at home, we have five acres. So they run on the five acres when we're home and not doing shows. We do shows about eight months out of the year, off and on. They don't work eight months straight. Uh, it just depends on how our schedule works. Usually we're at a fair for 
about nine days on average. Hawaii is very obviously different, but on average we're on a, at a fair about nine days, and then usually we have about a week off in between fairs too. So it's a off and on thing, and, and when they're not working, they're hanging out with us in the house, relaxing, just being dogs. Pets Overboard is a pirate themed show where Captain Jackie, myself, and our first mate, Moby, and Comet, and all the rest of the dogs were looking for treasure, and we crashed into the dock, and we're invaded by pirates. I think it's funny, pirates. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the show, we find the treasure, and we have a big pirate party, and there's all kinds of cool dog tricks at the end of the show. And the show's just, like I said, it's a lot about uh, dogs being dogs, but we also talk a little bit about uh, pet adoptions and spaying and neutering. The dogs are with us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 dollars days a year. Uh, we even came over to Hawaii for the Hawaii State Fair on a cargo ship. I travel with the dogs myself on the ship and the trailer, the equipment, the dogs, the cats, everybody. Uh, it was a very unique experience. Matson was absolutely great. They uh, loaded us on and we, uh, the dogs went to ship. We even got pictures with the captain. So the dogs have a picture with the real captain. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Your dog is our best friend. Whether it be in full service grooming, lodging, socialization, or just a nail trip, Tales of Hawaii is here for you. Give us a call at 676-9663. Your dog is our best friend at Tales of Hawaii. If your cat is constantly causing trouble, always on the prowl, and never comes when called, you need a Canna Regionals cat food. Biologically appropriate food that contains fresh meat, poultry, fish, and game that's rich in protein, low in carbs, and entirely grain-free for a balanced diet. How will your cat act? Well, they'll still cause trouble and they'll never come when called, but you can be sure they're healthy and enjoying the best food available. A Canna Regionals, exceptional food for your cat. Living in Hawaii, you need the best, and WeatherTech floor mats from Wetokoli are the perfect choice. When those unfortunate accidents happen and your plate lunch goes to the floor, WeatherTech mats will be there to protect and they're easy to clean. Deep channels trap water, dirt, mud, and sand, and they're available for hundreds of makes and models, so no matter what you drive, you'll find a perfect fit. WeatherTech floor mats. Find them at Wetokoli on Dillingham, just Eva of Kalihi Street. And now comes the moment we've all been waiting for. Stitch is dressed, the celebrities are dressed, even the puppies are dressed. And now without further ado, the 2016 Celebrities and Their Pets Fashion Show featuring adoptables from the Fur Angel Foundation. Please, adopt and save a life.
Zane Style House, styling the life you live. Affordable pieces that transition easily through every occasion in your life. From running to pick up the kids, to everyday stylish casual, to that perfect date night, Zane Style House has the perfect outfit for you. Cute, comfy, and fashionable. Zane Style House, styling the life you live. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. 